Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Oh, there he is, James Blunt. And I'll be your man. I quite like that. Seems to have covered from a song called You're Wonderful. Remember that? Oh. Goodness me. Happy birthday Can you hear that? to you. Oh. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy oh, birthday play some fun. to you. We need a number of candles to, to do the job for me. Oh, that's very nice of you guys. Thank you very much. I thought it was a secret. It must have been on the beach. Goodness gracious me. Thank you so much. Much, much appreciated. Thank, Thank you. John, happy birthday. Thank you, mate. There we are. Well, that's wonderful. And uh, now, where was I? Oh, yes, we have Guy Burns on the phone. Sorry about that, Guy. I got completely ambushed. Good morning to you. Yes, happy birthday, John. Oh. <laughs> the whole world knows. <laughs> oh, dear. Once it's on Beach FM, you're in trouble, mate. And, and here you are on Beach FM. And, of course, Guy, um, re-elected to the community board once again. Congratulations. Yes, many thanks for that. And it's good to be back on board again. Well, great. And I, I see that your partner in press release, Bernie Randall, uh, is uh, on the council now. Yes, he's done very well, and and I look forward to seeing him there. He'll add a real interesting dynamic to the council, and uh, he's going to be a great asset yes. to the community. He's got a great brain, hasn't he, Bernie? I've, I've, oh, I I've much admire. And not many people realise what, what a very significant legal mind that he has. He's a that's right, yes, very he meticulous right. gentleman. Yeah, that's right, lawyer, and, mm. and a lot of experience in, in, in law and, and in lecturing it. Uh, overseas at universities and so forth, yep. Absolutely, and uh, of course as a ward councillor he'll still be uh, sitting on the board, won't he? That's right, his ward is the Paraparimu area and uh, he'll be on the Paraparimu Ramadi Community Board, so it's great to see him back on board again. Great stuff. Okay, and what about the chair? Any thought about the chair yet, chair, uh, Guy? Uh, that's um, going to be talked about, I think, in the next few days, but as you know, officially we don't make a decision un- until our inaugural meeting, which I think is going to be in the first or second week of December. Well, OK, and we look forward to information about that. But something that is much more current is the Ant Baiting Weekend, which is on tomorrow and Sunday. And uh, we're speaking to you uh, in conjunction with your activity with the Romati South Residents Association. So what's happening this weekend, Guy? That's right. The association has been promoting a Ant Baiting Weekend, and this is coming up over the next few days, uh, tomorrow and Sunday. And it's really a way of focusing on the fact that the ants now are coming out of hibernation, they're energising, they're starting to get out there on a warm sunny day. You'll you'll see see the numbers increasing, and I've noticed it just lately myself that they are out there. Mm. So it's a time where you should talk to your neighbours and get out there and, and start baiting for the ants, laying the baits down and, and having a coordinated effort so you can knock it back. We're never going to kill the ants or destroy them, but we, we will keep numbers down, especially when people are getting infested, their houses are getting overrun, and uh, they sometimes attacking the chickens and, and so forth. Even beehives have been destroyed. So it's a matter of keeping ants under control. So the weekend signifies the fact we need to make a community effort to keep ant numbers down. I I was much amused a few months ago to see a press release from the association declaring Romati South an ant exclusion zone. Are you implying the ants did not get the memo? Uh, yes, but, yes they're, they're not very literate, so we need to push it further with a bit of poison. <laughs> now, the ants we talk about are, are primarily the Argentine ants. They are the ones causing concern, aren't they? Well, not uh, not necessarily so. Oh. It definitely is the Argentine ant that's causing concern in terms of, of in your garden, out, uh, outdoors, uh, attacking the ecosystems and, and destroying um, the wildlife out there, but actually there's also the other problem is the white-footed ant, and that's more the ones you see inside the house. The Argentine actually doesn't normally get inside your house, it's the white-footed ant, so, so, so it's both those ones that are, are more the problem ants. So, uh, with, with both, well, with all types of ants, I think it is best that it's done in a very organised way. In other words, if you do it and your neighbour doesn't, there's not much point in you doing it. That's right, because if you do it, you just get, get rid of the ants pretty well just to your boundaries. 
and so they're living over in your neighbour's place, and they'll quickly come back and infest your place. So the more people involved and, and the more neighbours involved, the more impact we'll have on keeping those numbers down. How many people do you think will be involved this weekend, Guy? Uh, There's been quite a bit of interest, and we've got on our um, uh, Facebook page, which is an ant Facebook page, uh, over 250 people on there or so. So from from what I can gather, it's going to be a a significant number of people. Mm. Now, what is likely to happen in terms of the actual activity? Are you you baiting? Are you poisoning? uh, Well, I suppose it's the same thing in a way, isn't it? Well, pretty well, that's what you have to do to keep the numbers down. Uh, and we recommend, first of all, talk to your neighbours. Uh, then, um, on a nice sunny day, just have a look around for ant activity and identify where they are. Order your baits and then prevent all vegetation... Sorry, order, order your baits and, and start laying them. But, but the other good thing, thing to bear in mind is, is, is to stop any trees or branches touching your house because that's oh. how the ants can get in. So if you've got any bushes or ivy or, or any vegetation which is up against the house, often it, it, it's a highway to hell. So these yeah. ants climb trees, do they? Oh, definitely, yes. Wow. Uh, that's how I sometimes notice them. The, 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 I remember once, um, about two years ago, I, I was in, in, I had to be on a roof in uh, Manly Street next to a giant Norfolk pine, and, and I just looked over, and the whole tree was just a mass with the ants going way up and down, the, 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 sort of feeding off the resin. I think it was the Argentine ants. It was just unbelievable. Mm. Well, there it is. Now, I, I believe, particularly with the Argentine ants, that you've got to use the correct bait. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's not a productive use of time. Uh, well, the certain baits you need to use, and the best ones are, are the protein type baits uh, which, which are well suited for the Argentine but you should never use fly spray because that actually can trigger more reproduction somehow Goodness. Uh, but definitely we're, we're recommending a, a, a couple of baits one is called the Vanquish Pro and, and that's a, 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 a more of a bait you use in a tube with a, with a, with a gun and uh, you can order those from the internet, from www.flybusters. Mm-hmm. The other option, which is more low cost, is a Borax bait station. And you can either make up your bait yourself by going to our ant site on Facebook, which is Ask Cafe de Coast Ants, or easier done that you can go to the Shed Project, which is in Tongariro Street. Yep. And uh, just up there near the Statue of Mary, the quite well known that the, the, the shed project because right. they, Dennis they, Taylor they, and his mates. Yeah, yep. yep. But, so they, they produce the baits there that you can buy for about twelve dollars for thirty six. Guy, uh, as I speak right now, at least at Lindale, it's quite steady rain. Uh, don't know about Romati South, but does rain affect the operations? Uh, definitely. Um, first of all, the ants are not especially at the moment. It's cold, colder rain. They're not out there, so they, you don't want your, your, your baits to be in the rain. So you can use uh, containers, and, and, and you get those from, from the shed project when you're using the borax bait station. Yes. Uh, the other option was the Vanquish Pro. That can handle a bit of rain, but ideally you, you don't want heavy rain on your baits. Okay. And are you keeping some kind of register of the people who are involved in this? So uh, if there's some way or some need to update people, that you have the means of doing it? Most definitely. And if people could register with us on our Facebook page, once again, the address at Capity Coast Ants, or, or one word, uh, then you can um, be updated all the time. There's files there t- telling you how to make up baits. Uh, techniques that you can use and, and also the stories from, from people who have kept numbers down. Excellent. So this is the weekend, um, the weekend of the 19th and 20th of October. I presume it's because it's uh, the change of the seasons, uh, that it's a matter of getting in early and getting in coordinated and making sure that we keep them at bay at, at least as much as technically possible. That's dead right. It's, this is the start of, of, of really the baiting. This weekend is, is where the weather is getting warmer. It's, it's the time you're planting up your tomatoes and your zucchinis. Uh, the ants are also coming out of the, their nest and their uh, hibernations, and they're getting more active, and they'll be breeding like flies, so to speak. Mm. 
and like ants. then get out there and, and knock them back. Okay, so that's the story of the weekend, the ant baiting weekend. Guy Burns, thank you very much for joining us this morning from the Romanty South Residents Association. Yes, Thanks, my friend. Good. Enjoy your birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you, mate. <laughs> okay, got me. Thanks, yeah, Guy. Yeah. All the best, mate. 106.3 Beach FM.